Well, I don't want to quibble over terminology, but sometimes if the terminology is wrong <clears throat> at the outset, then it confuses things moving forward. I'm not pro-Palestinian. I'm not pro-Israeli. I'm pro-truth and I'm pro-justice. If the truth is on the Israeli side, I will support Israel. If justice is on the Israeli side, I'll support Israel. And the same thing goes for the Palestinians. I've spent the greater part of my adult life, you can say beginning 1982, so it's more than four decades, uh, researching, studying uh, the Israel-Palestine conflict. And it's my conclusion at the end of that research, but already early on, that the case that Israel makes for its crimes are in large part fabrications, misrepresentations, and distortions. And on the other hand, the Palestinian case is very strongly supported by the, the evidence. And when I speak about evidence, I'm not talking about what Hamas says. Any more than when I speak about Israel, I care much about what the government says. If you're serious about these sorts of things, first, the first thing you do is you try to search out sources which have a certain amount of credibility. So when it comes to the Israel-Palestine conflict, let's say the human rights dimension, you look at what respected human rights organizations have to say, Human Rights Watch, Amnesty International, the Beth Selim, the main Israeli informa information center for the occupied territories. You look at what the evidence shows, not based on biased sources or naturally biased sources, uh, but on the available evidence. And I try to be a strict adherent of the two principles of truth and justice. And that's where I landed. And I think that's frankly where most of the world has landed. And it's also, incidentally, but not trivially, it's where a large part of the young Jewish population has landed. If you go to the demonstrations now, the ones that have garnered the headlines, say the one in Grand Central Station, was overwhelmingly Jewish, it was organized by Jewish organizations, young people mostly, but not entirely. The Statue of Liberty demonstration, again, it was Jews, Jewish young people who organized the demonstration. So this idea that it's somehow polarized ethnically is belied by the facts. Now, I will wholeheartedly admit that when I first started out, uh, we, were a, we were a handful of people, Jewish Jews, who opposed what Israel was doing. But the uh, spectrum has radically changed in the recent years. I'm just one among a large number, a sea of Jews who oppose what's going on, not because they're self-hating, not because they're indifferent to the fate of Israelis, uh, but because the evidence is overwhelming. And you, it's impossible. You start out by saying you're not knowledgeable about the topic. Fair enough, there are 10,000 topics I'm not knowledgeable about and where you have much more knowledge. I'm quite certain of that. But this is not a particularly complicated situation right now. The Israeli government is openly, unabashedly, flagrantly, blatantly, it's a declared a war of genocide on the people of Gaza. That's not exaggerated language. The Prime Minister of Israel said in a speech which, been, which has been re, uh, reproduced everywhere, he said, this is a war against Amalek, referring to the Old Testament. And what's a war against Amalek? Well, just open up the Old Testament. It obliges Israel to kill 
every man, woman, and child. That's what it means to invoke a war against Amalek. 